In this video, I'm gonna walk you through printing out the printable stained glass element from our new stained glass Easter card. Once you have the file downloaded from our website and unzipped or extracted, you're gonna open up the folder and inside that folder, you'll find the menu, a photo, and your main SVG folder. We're gonna open up the main SVG folder. There's also a brand new SVG all-in-one folder that has all of the files available to upload in one file, but that's not where you're gonna find the printable vellum. You're gonna find that in the main SVG folder, so we're gonna open that up, and then you're gonna go into your extras folder. You're gonna open up the vellum folder, and in the vellum folder, you'll find vellum.pdf. Now on a Mac, all you need to do is double click on it and it should open in either Adobe Acrobat or in the Apple Preview software, which will work as well. And as you can see here, all you need to do is print this out. You'll just go to File, Print, and the most important thing to ensure when printing this file is that you're doing it and printing it out at full size. You do not want to scale it because then it will not fit. As you can see here, I have mine set. It is set to scale, but it's at 100%. You wanna make sure that you do the same exact thing. So this file, this vellum.pdf file, you are not going to upload it into your cutting software. We're just gonna open it and print it directly to your printer. Again, making sure that it is set to a 100% scale. Any deviation from 100, it could be 101 or 99, may end up resulting in the file not fitting correctly in the cutout. So again, we're not uploading this into Design Space, Silhouette Studio, Canvas. It's going straight to the printer from this file. Now, if you're on a PC, you'll notice here on this PDF file that we reference a program called Adobe Reader. Adobe Reader is a free program that you can get at this link here that will allow you to open and print PDF files. Once you have this printed, you're gonna take and cut it out manually with a pair of scissors. You're gonna cut around the black border, and I actually show that process in the official assembly video for this card. The reason we're printing out two is to make that stained glass effect look nice and bold. Sometimes when you print on vellum, one layer just doesn't quite do the trick. So that's basically it. Just print it out, cut it out, following this little border, we're gonna layer it, and I, again, show that during the official assembly video, and the way that this is designed, any little imperfections, or even if this isn't cut out perfectly, will all be hidden behind these panels here anyway, so it's not a big deal. If you have any questions or need support with this, feel free to contact us using the contact form on our website.